Hi, today I'm going to show you how to set up your Fallout 3 game for multi-core threading in 4GB large address aware. In order to do this, you're going to need to download a file from Mod Database. Um, just do a search in Google and it should come up as your first one there. And you want to go to Downloads and in the top there type in Fallout 3. And the file you need should be under there. So you want to download this file and save it to your desktop. Alright. So once you have it saved to your desktop, you can open that file up. Okay. And you're going to want to um, then open up your uh, My Computer and go to your Fallout 3 game folder under C, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and you should find your Fallout 3 folder there. So open that up and create a new folder called Originals. And you want to drag and drop your Fallout default and into that folder and then make a copy of the original Fallout 3 EXE and paste that in there so that it looks like that. And once you've backed up the files you can now move the Fallout default INI and the 4 gigabyte patch into your main folder. Um, just run the 4 gigabyte patch and select EXE files and apply it to the Fallout 3 EXE and you should get a uh, patch successful. Now at this point um, the game's already all patched but for standard users you may run into the Windows Live error um, as standard edition was never really patched for that. Uh, so in order to um, bypass Windows Live, I would recommend using Foes. Foes can also have the 4 gigabyte patch applied to it. Um, and you simply do the same thing as you did the first time. Just do a search for Foes in Google and it should come up as the first. And normally I download the stable version here. Um, you can download the beta version if you'd like. Um, either will work. So once you've downloaded Foes, save it to your desktop and we're going to put foes in here so you want to drag and drop the contents of that into your follow three game folder okay I've already done this but for the video I'm going through each step so you can close that foes window. Don't close the Fallout 3. We're not quite done with that. Okay, so now we've got foes in there. So um, now open a, a new window and go to My Documents. In My Documents, you should find a folder called My Games. Go to the Fallout 3 and drag and drop that Fallout I and I there. And just replace the existing one. If there's not a Fallout I and I yet, just put this followed I and I in. And then you're done with that also. Now, oh, you can put in the um, optional E and B if you'd like. And you just basically drag and drop those into the main folder. So now we have all the files in place. So we'll just close that off. And the last thing we want to do is create a... Um, we want to patch the for foes and create a shortcut to your desktop from foes. So we'll run that 4 gigabyte patch again and set it on exe files and this time we'll do the foes loader. Okay and now everything is patched. So the last thing we have to do is make a shortcut from the foes loader to your desktop and you'll use this to start your game. So just copy and then paste a shortcut. And you can close off the um, Steam folder. Now the 
shortcut that you've just created. Just rename that to Fallout 3. And I've already got a Fallout 3 icon that I've created from that. And so the way that I got the icon was after renaming it, you went, you go to Properties and Change Icon, and then you browse to your Fallout folder, which is, of course, C Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps. common and Fallout 3 again and you just look for the Fallout 3 um, and you click that and you say OK and OK and now you have the Fallout 3 icon on the foes loader by doing this Windows Live is now disabled your game is now updated and patched and the multi-core and threading should also be enabled so you should just be able to start the game at this point and hopefully it runs all right for you. Um, this should improve quite a few um, parts of the game, increase, increasing the frames per second, um, the overall play and such. If there's any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, have a good day and enjoy playing your game.